Hello, I'm Tom Kite. Welcome to Lower Your Score. Golf has been an important part of my life. Over the years, I've seen golf swings of every imaginable shape and size by players of all skill levels. Through my experience, I've come to realize that there are numerous effective ways to swing the golf club that produce low scores. I've observed that the best players in the world have developed their own individual styles of striking the ball. Though swings are personalized, there are certain fundamentals that you must adhere to and master before developing your own successful swing. That's the purpose of Lower Your Score. I'll show you proven methods that have worked for me and other leading tour players. If you practice the fundamentals demonstrated in this program, I can assure you that you can develop your own trustworthy, repeatable swing that will help you score better on the golf course than you have ever done before. Scoring, after all, is what golf is all about. Striving to refine your swing technique and shot making capabilities are worthy pursuits, but only if the ultimate results are an improvement in your scoring ability. Lower Your Score offers numerous practice routines that I personally use. These methods make practice more fun, like playing golf. They also develop your swing skills at the same time. Together with noted sports psychologist, Dr. Bob Rotella, who has helped me immensely, we will give you tips on improving your mental approach to golf. The mental side is often neglected because it is so difficult to teach. Doc has helped many professional golfers to understand and develop a sound mental approach. His advice will quite likely improve your game before you leave your living room. Lower Your Scores Multimedia Approach to Golf Instruction offers you a technologically advanced method of learning. You direct the process. You choose the topics that you want to cover and then learn them at your own pace. I hope Lower Your Score will help you do just that, score better than you have ever done before. Finally, I'd like to thank the membership and management of the Four Seasons Resort and Club at Las Colinas, Texas for allowing us the special access to their facilities for this production. Hello, I'm Bob Rotella. Golf is meant to be an enjoyable experience. Yet I work with many golfers, including numerous top-level touring pros, whose self-imposed pressure to succeed not only distracts from their enjoyment, but limits their performance as well. It is not possible to achieve perfection at golf. You can, however, take the game seriously, practice zealously and play regularly, and still maintain a healthy, fun-loving perspective. One of the main points I stress to Tom and other playing professionals is, above all, have fun playing. To make it enjoyable, you need to be easy on yourself, focus on the good things, and be creative. In Lower Your Score, you will learn these principles and others so that you can better cope with the pressures of golf. You no longer need to succumb to the stressful competitive situations that you encounter on the course. I'm going to show you how to get into the zone which is just a word for improved concentration. I will help you develop visualization techniques, a consistent pre-shot routine, and other methods to help you effectively control your mind. If you incorporate the methods that I offer you and lower your score, they will have a major impact not only on your golfing success, but more importantly, on your lifelong enjoyment of the game. When I was growing up in Texas, one of the very first shots that I had the opportunity to learn was a putter from off the green, better known as the Texas Wedge. This is a shot that comes in very handy when you grow up on some of the municipal golf courses around the Texas area because of the hard pan that's around there. Hitting chip shots is very risky. Now what you have is a situation here where we have some nice lush grass. We've got a good fringe, and so chipping is obviously an option. The problem with chipping versus using the Texas Wedge is that you're relying upon hitting the ball up in the air, getting some backspin, and then getting the proper amount of roll, hoping that the ball lands exactly the way you want it to, 
and rolls exactly the distance that you need. By using the Texas wedge along this situation, what you have is an easy little putt. Now you have to hit it a little bit harder because the grass out in front here is a little bit thicker than what you have on a normal green. But there's no situation that can be much safer than playing a, a putter from off the edge of the green. Main thing you're concentrating on is getting the proper speed. Just hit it a little bit harder and you're going to get it up there fairly close to the pin in almost all cases. Now I use my normal putting grip. I don't change my grip. I don't use the grip that I use when I'm playing a full shot, the interlocking grip. I'll go back to my putting grip. Right now I'm using a reverse overlap and it just gets me in a situation where I can just play my natural, normal putting stroke. This is a wonderfully safe shot, very conservative, but you're almost always going to get it up there somewhere around the pin where you can make the putt. I can promise you, when you're coming down the stretch, Sunday afternoon, trying to win a golf tournament, and your nerves are about as jumpy as you can ever imagine, this is the shot you want to play. You almost always get it down in two. No matter how well you play, no matter how well you strike the ball, you're going to miss some greens. And the thing you have to do is be able to get the ball up and down. You have to play some really nice chip shots. Now here's a situation where you're not going to be able to play anything like a putting shot. Uh, you're too far off the green. You can't really take a putter and run it up. You have to go ahead and try to land the ball on the green. You were far enough off the green. The grass is thick enough. And in this instance, I'm into the grain, so playing a putting shot from off the green is not the choice. But what we're going to do is we're going to play a putting shot with a 7-iron or a 6-iron or whatever club allows you to fly the ball on the green. This is a very similar shot to just using your, your normal putting stroke. I'm going to take my putting grip. I'm not going to use my grip that I normally use. I'm not going to use the interlocking grip. I'm going to take my putting grip, the reverse overlap, and just use it just almost like a putting stroke. Now if you can just visualize this in your mind as a putting stroke with a 7-iron or with an 8-iron or whatever club you choose, in this case a 7-iron, and all this does is the loft of the club, the loft that we have with the 7-iron, allows that ball to get in the air and it allows it to carry over the fringe. But the main point that we want to do is to get the ball rolling as quickly as possible. We're going to land the ball just barely on the edge of the green. The 7-iron loft is going to get the ball on the green, and then we're going to run it up there, and it's going to run as much like a putt as possible. It's not a really difficult shot. Just visualize it as a normal putting stroke. The ball is going to be played about off your left instep, as it would with a putt. I'm slightly open. My stance is slightly open, as it would be for a putt. The only difference is that I've got a little loft on the club which allows the ball to stay in the air for just a little bit and then in my mind I'm visualizing that this ball is rolling like a putt. Now when you get to a situation where you've got a little bit longer shot, in this case we've got a pin that's way too far back for me to be able to use this putting stroke. With, with the putting stroke you really don't have a whole lot of speed elements in there. You're not getting yourself in a situation where you can produce speed because you're trying to get the ball to go just a short distance. But now I've got a chip shot where if I took my normal putting stance and my putting grip, I wouldn't be able to hit the ball far enough to get it all the way back there. So I'm going for a much more conventional chipping shot. I'm going to use my grip that I'd use when I'm playing a full shot, in this case the interlocking grip. I'm going to stand a little bit further away from it. This is more like a miniature golf swing. The body is going to come into play a little bit more. I'm going to be using my legs. You can see how my knees are moving on this shot because they're supporting the swing, the speed of the swing that I'm going to be having. It's going to be a little bit more of a descending blow and you hit a nice shot up in front of the green but you find yourself with a 60 or 70 foot chip shot. When you can get these chip shots like this close enough to get it up and down you're on your way to scoring very well.